everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne Tomasian and I'm here with Andy. Ta da! Yay, clap. Happy to be here. We are at the Burbank Futsal Indoor Soccer Centre and I'm happy to bring you guys along. Alongside with me, we're going to play football and I'm going to interview the man himself. And yeah, let's get started. Before we get started, don't forget to thumbs up this video and comment below any questions that you have for Andy and we'll try our best to answer them. And follow us both on Instagram at Leanne Tomasian and at and the music one. Yeah, I'll put all the links below. Let's get started. Bye. Wait, before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about Andy. Sir Andy has released 15 solo albums and he sold millions of them. He's been invited to the White House twice and has become a pop icon in the Iranian and Armenian community. He met my dad in Iran and as they were both musicians, I ended up going up and dancing to his music. And now you can watch me attempt to play indoor soccer with him. Wish me luck. I have known Andy since I was four because he is my dad's really good friend, my dad being a musician. He is such an amazing, talented entertainer and a singer. So we're going to ask him a few questions. Do you want to introduce yourself first and say hi to my audience? I'm Andy and you can find me online somewhere. <laughs> I'll put all the links below. So my first question for Andy is, what was the first instrument that you picked up and how old were you growing up? Pots and pans. Really? Of course. At home, the only instrument we could afford was my mom's pots and pans. We played on it and we just sang. That's what we did. That's so interesting. That's <laughs> so cool. It's funny, he came from such humble beginnings and now he's like running around the world, literally. He's like going from country to country, right? That's true. Yeah. That's true. He's trying to be humble. <laughs> he's, he's doing an amazing job. That's my day job. <laughs> he has another nine to five. Who was your favorite singer growing up? Like who inspired you to be like, okay, that's what I want to do? I would say I grew up with the Western British rock and then American oh. rock, mm -hmm. Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple and, and Rod Stewart, that kind of music. Wow. And then I went more into pop music, Elton John and all that stuff. But look, music is music. And now we're playing Iranian or Armenian mm -hmm. rock music or pop music. That's crazy. It's yeah. crazy how people influence us all the time. Okay, so I'm a big believer, as my audience knows, in like the law of attraction and putting what you want in the universe. Do you know much about the law of attraction? Like if oh, well, you I've heard it. Yeah. I haven't experienced it, but... No, I'm sure you yeah. have, because it's like if you want something, you, you say, okay, I'm ready for this, bring it to me, and it comes to you. So my question is, at what age were you like, okay, did you ever like picture yourself, okay, this is what I want to do, I want to travel the world, I want to be like a world-renowned singer... Did you ever have that vision, like this is, I'm going to be on stage in front of millions of people? I only knew that my mom said, even when I'm asleep, I tap music with my feet. So oh. I knew I was born to be mm -hmm. a musician and I couldn't wait to wake up and play music. Mm -hmm. and the first instrument I played was guitar and I grew up playing guitar and then I learned a little keyboard here and there. In actuality, to me, just playing my guitar in, in my small bedroom in Iran was enough for me. Mm -hmm. I was successful. When I came to America, I would take my guitar to the beach, so really? I would go and just stand there and play. And I felt like I, the whole world was mine. And of I was course. already successful because to me, success is not a million people or millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. It's doing what you really want to do. And then hopefully people will respond to it. Yeah. If you do your due diligence, mm -hmm. you will be successful and money will follow. Yeah. Don't do it because of money. Of course. Yeah. No matter what, do it because you're passionate about yeah. it. Take five. Okay. So... Has your family helped you or influenced you in any way along this journey? My family has always been supportive. My parents, even when we were young and I would bring the band home to rehearse, my grandma would make Armenian coffee for them oh. and, and gata and all that stuff. Yeah, full support from the family. Even some of my first investors in the business were my brothers. And oh, yeah. It's a family business. And even now, my brothers, my sisters, my wife, Shani, we're all, we all support each other. That's so good. Of course, there's nothing more important than family. Yes. So you are one of the 
first, I think, Iranian Armenian singers to go to the White House to meet the president, right? That's insane. That's a huge, huge, big deal. Did you ever think that would happen in your life? No, but I've always been interested in history. I've always loved good politicians, mm -hmm. politicians who help people. Good politicians. <laughs> good politicians, <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. And, of course, I have so much respect for the White House mm -hmm. and some of the presidents who do great for people. Mm -hmm. And, yes, it was kind of a treat, an, an honor to be at the White House twice, uh, two years ago, and I'm hoping we'll, we'll, we'll go back. Did you steal anything from the White House? Because everyone says when they go there, they take, they take something from the bathroom. Did you take anything? I didn't steal it. I just took it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you take? <laughs> I'm just kidding. They gave us so many stuff. Oh, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> if you were born again tomorrow, what would you do? Would you redo this whole thing again or would you do like a different path? Tough question. Uh, I would obviously, if I learned from my mistakes, because everybody makes mistakes, but I would still pick the same route. Hopefully, if I had the same experiences, mm -hmm. I would do them a little differently. Mm -hmm. But listen, uh, that's why I said earlier, you have to pick the business you're going to get into with passion. And as long as you're enjoying it, there's nothing to regret. There's nothing. Oh, that's my favorite sound. Barking. Oh. Barking of a dog. <laughs> I lo love dogs. What can I say? And uh, no, I wouldn't really do a major change. I would just... Um, try to play more music because once you get in the business and then you become successful mm -hmm. in it, the business takes over. So try to stick to the artistic side of it because in the end, that's all that matters. Yeah, of course. That's a great answer as well. You have questions coming up. Yeah, <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> so he was actually my first concert I ever went to. I, I remember I was four and I was so short. I had to sit on my dad's shoulders, I think, because I couldn't say anything. And I, and I don't know how to speak Persian, like I'm Armenian, like born and bred in Australia. And I knew every single word, and I still do, because I, I just picked it up. So who was your first concert that you went to? Do you remember? Yeah, that's, that's a long grab, time ago. <laughs> that's a long time ago. First concert, obviously, was in America, Supertrap. I went to Supertrap concert oh. at the Forum. Oh, wow. Were well, you like, oh, my God? I was, oh, my God, <laughs> because I grew up with their music, mm. and uh, all through high school, I, I listened to them, and they're an unbelievable band. And, wow, that's amazing. Yes. I love hearing stories like that. What motivates you and your wife in life? Because he's married to a very talented singer as well, and an entertainer called Shani. So what motivates you guys to get out of bed and work? Maybe Dogs. Yeah. Dogs. Oh, he's a very <laughs> big dog person. Tell yes. them about your. We have a rescue, mm -hmm. and Shaney, who does most of the work, because uh, she started the rescue, and obviously I'm full supportive of it. We just love animals. Mm -hmm. We love to rescue dogs mostly. We do fundraisings, and we do we raise money, and we spend it on rescues, wow, that's and it just makes us happy. And God has given us. Uh, a lot mm -hmm. as far as music, mm -hmm. the gift of music, and uh, people's love and attention. So, you're giving, so it we're giving it back. Yeah, that's nice. And every time we, we rescue a dog, it just makes us feel much better about ourselves mm -hmm. and the gift we receive. Of course. The rescue is called uh, Voices Out. Mm -hmm. It's voicesout.org. You can go visit. And I'll put it in the link below. Yeah, make donations. Yeah, even like even if it's like a small one or a big one, I mean the animals, we all love animals, so don't forget to do that as well. Yes. So what does the future hold for Andy? What do you envision Andy in the future? Obviously because my music is banned in Iran and we haven't been back home for many, many years, it's a big uh, wish on top yeah. of my wish list. I can do a good soccer game at the... 100,000 100, capacity soccer stadium wow. and that would be like a dream come true and obviously if we can tour Iran mm -hmm. that would be unbelievable but uh, you know I'm going to Australia yes I was going to say yes I always enjoy playing Sydney and Melbourne and Perth and, and uh, all the beautiful cities of Australia and uh, listen for musicians there's no better high than being on the stage and mm -hmm. playing and seeing people enjoying music that's the gift 
That's amazing. God giving gift. Of course. Yeah, and he's he's come to Australia a few times, but he's going next week, right? For so Valentine's week. Day. Yes, Valentine's Day, fifteenth and sixteenth. Yeah, so Sachin, I'll link all the information below as well. And one last question. So my favorite song of his is um, a few, but one of them, I think I'm saying it right, Cheshmai, not yes, love it. Is that yes, the, that's, yes, yes. And then Birero. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I love that song. Thank you, thank you. So what's your favorite song they've ever done? Mm, as far as love songs, obviously, it's Sarse Purde. But mm -hmm. as far as rocking, it's Birador. Really? That's yes. my favorite. I want to say how beautiful you do your job. Thank and you. uh, I can see you do this for the love of it. I've checked your uh, Instagram, uh, beautiful pictures, and there's always this happy, positive vibe Thank in it. You. I try. <laughs> and uh, of course, I'm a big fan of your dad. He's one of the best keyboard players I have worked with. and. Uh, I expected you to turn out beautiful, and oh, you have. Thank you, thank you. Very sweet. Honestly, it's, this is a dream come true for me. I had his posters on my wall growing up, so this is <laughs> law of attraction, right? But yeah, thank you so much. I'll be linking all the information of Andy's and mine below, so don't forget to check that out. Subscribe to me, follow him on Instagram, and for tour dates and everything else on his website. And yeah, let's get started with sure. indoor soccer. <laughs>